I'm Jacqueline Peck. And I'm Kevin Peck. And these are our two girls, Lucy and Nora. I'm Ben Anderson, uh, this is my wife, Nicole. Our uh, new one, Matthew, this is Emily and Michael. I'm Shane Cameron, and this is Harper Cameron. Who's this, what's your name? Good job. Hi, my name is Katie Gates. I'm Corey Gates. And this is Chaney. All right. Uh, my name is Shelby Kenner, and this is our son, Aiden Kenner, and our daughter, Aurora Kenner. <laughs> my name is Joyce Kenner. I'm Sean Nagel, this is my wife, Luciana and Benjamin. I'm Mike Osterman, and this is my wife, Jen, and Grace. Uh, we are the Ramirez family. My name is Carlos, Carol, Christina, and Christopher. Hi, we're the Scroggs family. Uh, I'm Nicole. Uh, I'm Maxwell. Two sons. I like two sons. This is Emery, and it's Brayden. <laughs> this is Grayson. Hello, my name is Mark. I'm Allison. This is my son, Mitchell, and my daughter, Mariah. Hi, I am Carrie Burke. This is my husband, Dave. Our five-year-old son, which is Carter, and our two-year-old daughter, Adley. We are the Burks, and we have been coming to South Point for five years now. The one most important thing that we love about South Point is that they have the come as you are feel and they really just have that atmosphere that, you know, it doesn't matter where you've been, um, you're welcomed here and Pastor Matt just seems to put everything in such a perspective that we can relate to. Yeah, I would agree. The uh, friendly and welcoming atmosphere is definitely a plus. Our girls definitely look forward every Sunday to coming to church. We love South Point. We love the message that we get from it and we love the children's church. And all the people are great. I love the, the diversity of our family is also seen at church. So it's not that Benjamin is going to be half Latino at home and at church he's going to be a church that looks totally different from him. So that I appreciate that. We like the message, we like, like the people, uh, we like the mission that South Point does uh, both here at the church and in the community. Uh, we really feel at home here. Um, I think we really like the atmosphere of South Point. Um, it's full of a lot of good people, good energy, and, and good attitude for sure. I grew up in the church, so I'd like them to stay in the church. There's a point in where I strayed away from it. And a lot of things happened, and now that we're back in church, a lot of great things have happened. So that's why I want them to stay in church. God was obviously the reason that she came into her life um, and the community here at South Point was so, so important um, and helpful in bringing her home with all of their prayers and support through the process of bringing um, Hadley home through um, two years of um, adoption process. Um, and we, we want her to grow up in a community um, that supports her knowing um, the God that loves her and knowing that she can do anything um, as long as she puts God first in her life. We wanted to have our children dedicated um, partially in, in honor of her pap. Um, he was always very big on uh, having the children uh, baptized or dedicated. And uh, also my father as well. Um, just lost him this uh, past February. It was sudden and unexpected. And uh, it was really something that I think that he would have loved to see for the kids and uh, just to have that spiritual connection for them and for their soul, honestly, to be close to uh, close to God. So It's like I was making a promise before God to guide her in his way until she's old enough to take her on the station so salvation. I just want for her to know Jesus and for her to be raised in the church and have a relationship with Jesus as she grows up. And we hope by planting her in the church that we will expose her to those opportunities. It's a way of showing the church that, hey, we are doing this, but we need your help. 
because we can definitely not do not raise it takes a village to raise a child and we appreciate that south point has a great kids ministry and we will be able to count on our church uh, we wanted to have cheney dedicated because uh, he really is an answered prayer um, back in January of 2018, our worship pastor at the time, Tyrone, at rehearsal uh, asked the worship team what we wanted for the year of 2018 and I spoke up and said I wanted to be a mom and at that point in time the whole worship team prayed and continued to pray and here he is.